positive villain. Like there were some rumors on the street, Fabs, right? So, we had a person in the Discord reach out to B specifically, saying, uh, B, you know what? You treasured the game. I'm gonna beat you with your own character and I'm gonna humiliate you in front of every single viewer. And today, we're gonna run it. I just checked back with B and he said, you know what? Let me destroy him real quick. <laughs> I need a W today. That's what B just told me. So is it first we're, to five, first to three. How how is this going? Perhaps we have to make it first to five. You know the special rule okay. of beef sets. Beef sets at least have to be a first to five, and that's what we're gonna do now. So everyone in the chat, GSDTV is gonna run it versus the villain in himself. You just have B. Fresh off of a game five versus Faisal, and you want to beef set him right now? <laughs> chat, are we ready for this? Let's take a look at the chat prediction. The thing is, B has never lost a beef set so far, like literally. He lost a few league sets here and there, but never a beef set. You know that, that B, once he gets going, perhaps he is different. Ooh, let's see. Let's see if he gets it going. B is a demon, especially on the rated matchup as well. I think he likes the mirror. I, I, I don't know if we like the mirror, but for sure he likes it. Chat invites are officially out. First to five all the way. The villain got challenged. GSDTV, this is an arena debut at the same time. It is a player we have never seen in the arena so far. I don't know the main character. I don't know the region. I know absolutely nothing. The only thing I know is that he said that he's gonna destroy B in front of everyone. So Fabs, big words in the beginning, but I have so much respect for players who talk big and then actually show up for the set as well. So first yeah. to five, go crazy chat. It's time. I see a level 200 combat card. What the? What the do you mean? Wait, why is, why is Faisal? Why the hell is Faisal in this lobby? Your <laughs> Faisal just joined the lobby. Bro, I, I'm not tripping. That was Faisal, right? That was, I saw, I swear to God, I saw Faisal there. Kano. Frost. So chat, first to five, not a first to three. All right, first to five, beef set, Raiden mirror beef set. We got a villain in JS, JSD TV. I want to see what happens. Wait, 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 what camera did he pick? This fool's on Frost. Did Frost? Bup, bup, bup. What? what made him feel so confident? Yo, rip your mics, yeah. This might be the, the... The thing is, Chet, I told you, B is different when it comes down to beef sets. Like, that's really where his home is. This might be... <clears throat> wait, wait, wait! We got no, fatal. No, no, no. Not no, for no. speed. <laughs> this man starts the bags already. Oh, B is saying this is a walk in the park for me. B is going to make this that last 50 minutes because he's going to teabag every single time until he dies. <laughs> Enter air as well, aka air to air. And Joe Griggs in the chat, thank you so much for the resubscription. I appreciate you. And once again, the reminder for everyone who just tuned in, GSDTV is the one who challenged B and who said that he is going to destroy him in front of everyone live. So let's find out. GSD, my son, what led you into making this decision, into trying this decision out? I felt like that was not... There we go. Gets the forward throw, featuring Frost, but of all people to want to play against, I don't think you want to do that against Villain. So hold on a minute. Ooh, that pickup was nasty. Oh, he almost got it, though. I was hyping it up. There's the Frost in neutral. By the way, final prediction, 66% on the villain. And here oh comes the Kano laser into T-Backs. This, this man just down one special to punish. Doesn't link, by the way. But <laughs> GP didn't block either. He's gonna bag mid combo. Yep. <laughs> and that was expected. I mean, B 
Do we see the fatal as well? No. This time he just oh. lets the timer run down. 1 0 Hi. 1 0. But once again, Fabs, I have a lot of respect for people who say, you know what, I'm going to whop your ass, but then actually show up as well. Because a lot of people, they <laughs> sure. talk big and then you never hear anything from them. But GSDTV, this man actually said, you know what, let's run this. I respect it. But another thing I realized is, Fabs, especially from a viewer standpoint, sometimes you really underestimate how good these players really are when you see them on youtube and every a lot of people think they can actually beat these tournament players but the Ooh. thing is when you meet them it, it is a different ball game watching them play compared to actually being there you know and having to take the decisions yourself it's tough it's tough round one fight Come on, the frost orb the dlc move Overhead, which for Oki was for breakfast. Up. There's a throw. GSCTV in the lead in this round. Well, the Kano knives interrupting the throw has to be the most demonic thing ever. Teleport? Yes. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. We got four threes. Again, another. another Fabs, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. minute. <laughs> one. Like I saw the sequence happen at least three times this round. <laughs> Frost, teleport, throw, jump, throw, kino knives, throw, and then the four three. But I'm so I curious about the backstory here of GSDTV. Do you think he saw me on YouTube one day, woke up in the morning, and is like, you know what, I want the beef set versus this man? He spent his whole life studying how to beat these powers. He's like, no, I hate this guy. Okay. This is the most honest Raiden player ever. He's playing Frost. You know? What wrong could you do playing Raiden Frost? Double low into long shot. Oh. He interrupts, he knows, but you can't juggle that. You have to send anyone and then pick up with some other button. Can't do the full string. Off screen. That was pretty and more storm cells. We're gonna see a lot of those. Oh, be ready to see as many storm cells today. Not yet. Who saw this? You're gonna do frost orb? Okay, never mind. He didn't do frost orb. Plus frames. That whip? Peter saying, are they character camera locked? Yes, of course. We run the competitive rules. By the way, they changed it today in pro competition. I don't know if you saw that, yeah. perhaps. Back then, people lose. were allowed to change cameo on win. And that yeah, changed on them. win. So on win before, if, if you win and your character switches uh, characters, you can switch cameos. But now you, if you win, you are locked. But guess yes. what's the funny part now? If you lose on competitive pro comp settings, you can switch stages as well. You were allowed before it was always stages have to be randomized, but now you can actually switch stages, which is I think they fully understand that stages in this game have different sizes and it might favor zoners or rush down characters depending on how big the stage can be. So NRS knows. Interesting That's point, good. yeah. GSC TV. We talk so much about the ProCom and all of a sudden GS is the one in the lead. But this is it. Pays the price for it. No breaker. No three sticks of butter available. And the villain takes another one. Spoiler alert. Let me see the future real quick. I smell tea bags. <laughs> yeah, but there they are, of course. How many controllers do you think B needs for like one week of Mortal Kombat? I like three of them, I'm not gonna lie. This D-pad is asking for help at this point. And of course, be our biggest fan of the Hollywood fate. <laughs> Back at it again. <laughs> Too long. He usually switches either to Christmas Fatal or Halloween Fatal. I don't know what, what's up with him. I don't know what's the decision making. I've never seen him with the Thanksgiving one now, so.
66 on B. Is it gonna be the sweep in the special beef set? Once again, reminder, first to five, not first to three. You'll die by your own hand. Some days I wish I'd never left Feng John. Round one, fight! And Brenda saying, bro, I'm convinced this dude is trolling. He has to be better than this. Honestly, in, in my personal opinion, it is just that you completely underestimate how, how strong players like B, Faisal, Kanimani, all these yeah. guys are when you see them in a video and then you're sitting there like confident in combat league and everything. It is just different. Like tournament gameplay, it, it just is a different ball game. Yeah, I see. Did, he just, did he just snipe him out of the T-Bag? No, wake up, uh, up electric, whatever that move is called. It's beautiful. But hey, it's not working now. If you want to challenge these players, you got to know that was going to happen to you, you know? Oh, yes, Fatal as well. Fatal. Yep, into this is going to be big burger damage. Extra cheese on this bad boy. It's a long combo. Interruption and it gets to pick. I said before, you can't do the full string when you juggle that move. You have to do a standing one and then into a poke or something else and you got it pretty, pretty clean. Poke special, not your turn yet. So the power of Raiden. Ooh. Again, he reads it. I mean, and the, the thing is, uh, Raiden without an ambush cameo, it's not as scary when he does like electric uh, flies or um, storm cells, you know? Oh man, That's right now, this is a wash and B once again saying, don't even try to challenge me. <laughs> this bag waits for fatals every time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's another story. One thing about B, he will go for those fatals. Every single time, yes. But right now, GSDTV, he needs answers. He needs answers to that raid and he needs answers to the villain. But I'm not sure if there are any fabs. Yeah, that's that. That's the thing when you play against a player like, like B. He knows the insides out of this character so well that, um... Raiden. Things just don't go that way. If you want to do mirror against him, you got to play in the most optimal way possible. Raiden, Frost, yes, Lotus Panda, they are character locked. Even in the beef set, we still have our competitive rules in play. Some days I wish I'd never left Feng John. Round one, fight. It's his turn going. He's like, he always got like a little spike of energy you know, and, and pressure, but then B, once he gets going, oh, tries to go for the not mix, not real mix at all. His death on block, B knows it, and he's gonna make him pay. Big combo. And, uh, it only took one combo, and B is back in the live feed. <laughs> I told you, when he takes, when he starts his turn, things are different, you know? And B right now literally trying to speedrun this. Down two saying, sit down, my friend. I'm going to show you how to play this game. Again, Big not punish. real mix at all. <laughs> Ooh. I hate this, oh, that, that was mixed. That was definitely mixed. He teabags into low. You don't know what's going on after. Another, oh. another crazy read from B. He is dancing in front of him. This is so disrespectful for... Oh. 
Ich mein, Just as a reminder, GSDTV was the one who asked for this set, like who challenged me, not the other way around. Maybe the fastest first of five I've ever seen in my life. Fatality. Raiden wins. <laughs> Everybody asking for a set as well? Yes, Roth is in the chat saying, where is my beef set? <laughs> Four O. That means match point. Four B. Can GSD TV get one on the board? And GSD TV in the chat is saying, "I'm just playing nervous. That's all." And I can somewhat understand it, Fabs. I mean, especially when you're playing here for the first time, 500 people watching, 10,000s watching on YouTube. It is. It is just different. Fabs, reading our chat, I lit if we would have more time, I literally would invite every single one who now trash talks GSDTV into this lobby to match play, them again, and then we have this never-ending cycle, Fabs. Beef that's going on until like tomorrow. We have, we'll be having content for the rest of the month. Hope February. One content. day we're going to make the first Arena 24-hour stream like that. Everyone who talks shit in our chat gets invited to the lobby immediately. Stormcell, four days, the villain. Speedrunning, one of the fastest beef sets we had in the arena so far. Again, putting him in the corner now, it's hard knockdown. Oh, not hard knockdown, but like hard pressure there, Rikano follow up. Knives. What? For breakfast. I mean, I know what it is, really. Board four, overhead? No, he waits for the. Uh, Wake up. He's gonna bag now. He's gonna be with And now B, as always, we've seen that so many times. He just decides to waste time. Backdash, teabag. He's even eating all these projectiles. I can't do this, man. Fabs, honestly, we don't get paid enough to run these sets. Haunted. Man. This is taunted. I, I, I can't. I can't. Where's the low frost? He could be doing low frost right now, but he can kill if he does low frost. Oh no, he has breaker now, though. Can't kill. <laughs> oh. Just a silent soloist in the chat. Thank you so much for the donation at the end of this set. But we have to say it how it is. B, he was too strong. He is too strong. He is indeed too strong. If, if you want to match this man, you gotta be on the level. But the only thing what, I want what, to what? say once again Someone is... Yeah, uh, sorry for interrupting you, Fabs. You go first. Someone in chat just said, I would be Fabs with Kenshi so bad, the first thing he's going to see is going to be his ancestors. What? <laughs> Why am I getting dragged into this beef set stuff? I'm not playing anybody today. You guys, that's not fun. I have no idea. But all I can say is that I honestly still have a lot of respect for GSD TV here because a lot of people talk big on the internet and then n never show up again. And he actually did it. Even though it was pretty one-sided tonight, it was still a blast to watch. So thank you so much for playing. And now this is officially the end of today's stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the content and all the character variety. Okay, in the end, we had a Raiden Mirror, but sure. I can say, Fabs, two Sub-Zero players. Every single player uh, played out of their minds. A few Game 5s here and there. So that's it for tonight. Of course, we're going to be back tomorrow with more MK1 content and potentially another beef set who knows until then everyone stay safe out there thank you so much for all the support a big thank you to fabs of course for spending time with us on the mic my pleasure. and until then you guys stay safe out there have a wonderful night and i see my boy faisal is streaming right now so we're gonna send you guys over to another mk1 content creator and honestly it's the only mk content creator live in my list right now <laughs> so be nice in faisal's chat bye bye chat we're out